Hello kids, welcome back. Hope you're all doing fine. So today in ABS, we are seeing a new chapter, chapter 16, Mapping the Neighborhood. So we will be seeing how you will draw a map and how you can represent different places and um, uh, what all colors you will be using, what symbols you will be using. So all these we'll be learning in this lesson. Okay, so starting we will see the main thing is first you have to know the directions, the four important directions. So before preparing a map. So the four important directions are north, then south, east, west and east. So the right hand side is the eastern region and the left hand side is the west. Then on top is the north and bottom it is the south. So and in between north and west you have northwest. And north and east you have northeast. Then south and east, southeast. And south and west you have southwest. So the main is north, south, east and west. And in between also you have the places, direction. So northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest. Okay. And uh, to find the direction you use an instrument called compass. Okay. So hope you have uh, understood about direction. And the sun, it rises from the east and then they set in the west. Hope you all know that sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Okay, so this is how they are finding out the direction. And when you use the compass, the compass has got a needle. You have here the picture of a compass. So the compass has got a needle and that needle always points to the north. So accordingly, you find the other three direction. So when you find out the north, just opposite to the north, you have the south. Okay, then on the right side you have east and on the left side you will have west. Okay, if the north is pointed straight, then just opposite north you have south. Then to the uh, right side you have east and to the left side you have west. So that is how you are finding the direction. Okay, the next topic is landmarks. So landmarks are some important points or places of reference that help us to locate a place okay landmark some important uh, some symbol you are using to find out the place for example here there is a map of uh, the world that is world map and you have small small pictures there so you have um, if you take india the famous is taj mahal so a taj mahal is kept there so by just seeing the picture you know it is india there you needn't write it or you someone needn't tell you if Taj Mahal is here, you know it is in India because only in India you find Taj Mahal. So they have represented a uh, item which is just unique in India. So only in India you find Taj Mahal. Similarly, you have the Great Wall of China that you find only in China. By seeing the wall, you know it, the place is China. Then you have a bird there just below. Down you see there is a bird. It is kiwi. So it is in New Zealand. So most New Zealand you find kiwis. So the kiwi represent New Zealand. Similarly, you have a, a great bend clock, the big clock in UK, that is United Kingdom or England. So, you have this Eiffel Tower, famous Eiffel Tower that is in Paris. So, uh, France. Likewise, some important, important, uh, uh, what do you say, building or the uh, place is represented in the, instead of the country. So, you can easily uh, find out the name of the country. You can easily find out the country in this world map. Here you have even the Lady of Liberty. Then um, the Leaning uh, Tower of Pisa. That is in Italy. So all these some of the important important uh, uh, places. Which uh, can represent. Uh, which is representing the country. Because this will be seen only in that particular country. Eiffel Tower and all you find only in France, you can't, that is Paris, you don't find in any other place. So, you know, it is, we are talking about Paris or uh, uh, Taj Mahal, you find only in India. So, you know, you are talking about India. Okay, so that is the, in, and you have pyramid, pyramid you find only in Egypt. So, you know that it is Egypt. Okay, so like that you can, and uh, this is about the world which I am talking. Instead, you can even have small, small, if it is a small map, in an Indian map, then also or your Gujarat map also if you take you can just uh, have some symbols uh, if you have uh, what you say mountains you can just draw a small mountainous region that is hilly region 
then if it is plane you can draw a plane area then if it is river like this you can just draw a line showing that there is a river flowing like that you also you can show and if it is a city map then you can locate you can uh, keep different different uh, uh, what you say for example if you are marking market then you can put a square saying it is market if the, the square represent market so in that city map you can put square wherever the market is there all you can put a square so it indicate that that particular place market is there then for hospital in a city you have hospital hospital may be a cross you can draw okay so wherever the cross is there then that means there is a hospital schools school usually we find a small kid having a bag at the back and running or walking so even that you can mark and if it is so big one you can just mark by giving a star and you can write in one corner you can put a star and write school and put a square and write market put a cross and write hospital so every each and every place you need in write hospital market school and all just you have to put the symbol so that is the landmark so when you're drawing map if you draw this landmark it will be easy for you to read the map okay then coming to the next what are maps how what is actually a map so when you we talk of map you usually know it is in a piece of paper we get the map in a piece of paper okay so drawing of a large area on a small piece of paper and mostly this map is drawn to scale okay so if you have a that is a distance from your school to your home is safe one kilometer you can't draw a map of one kilometer instead what you do one kilometer that you will convert into millimeter or centimeter and then you will draw so one kilometer is equal to one centimeter and you can represent it in the map one centimeter so like that you can um, draw it to a scale means that same thing you will represent in the map but having a shorter distance not the big distance if it is one kilometer you can't draw a map for one kilometer so you will be drawing a small area but you will have to write it down on one side of the map the scale so in one side of the map you will find the scale here i think it uh, there is a there should be a scale somewhere i'm not able to so there usually in a map you find a scale you find a landmark written everything will be there in the ma map so you it will be easy for you to understand how far is the place suppose you are going to your friend's place and you want to know how far it is from your house then you can search it now we don't go and search in the map we just search it in the google map there you can find it out isn't it this is a simple map earlier days we never had a google map and all we used to depend on this map in the paper okay so coming to this then uh, we are, it, uh, this uh, all the symbols and all these landmark and uh, the um, scale everything will help you to locate the city or the state or the country properly so it will be easy for you to locate it okay then uh, the map which shows a small area in detail we call it as a plan for example it needn't be a country or a state or a district and all it's not that just a small area say your house so before you construct a house you should have a plan isn't it that will tell where the house is located uh, means where the house is located and in which direction it faces from there it starts then each bedrooms and front room your dining hall your uh, kitchen where it is should rep that is where it is present it will be represented in the piece of paper which call, we call it as a map and there also they will draw it to a scale they'll say this much for a bedroom and this much measurement for a kitchen so everything will be measured and kept and then they will convert the measurement and then when you build the house they will build accordingly so that is why your front room or the room where you receive your guest will be bigger than your kitchen kitchen will be comparatively smaller and bedroom it will be comparatively bigger than kitchen okay and inside the bedroom you may have an attached bath or outside the bedroom you may have the bathroom so that everything will be represent in the plan so everything up to the scale they will represent in a plan and according the plan they will be building the house or other building even apartments or shopping complex everything whatever you build you will have a plan 
and that plan also will be measured to a scale okay now coming to a rough diagrams for example someone is asking you where is your house so you are just uh, drawing it in a piece of paper you don't tell them you walked one kilometer or you come you just ride one kilometer you just say you go straight in this road there will be a hospital there you turn left and then you again move to some distance again you will find this shop from there the third house is mine like that you will be giving a direction you won't say you just go for one kilometer from there you pay go for half a kilometer from there you go you are not measuring and telling you are just giving a rough sketch that we call it as a sketch you are giving a sketch of a place so the person your friend can easily locate your house so he can follow your whatever you have said he can follow it and then reach your house so that is a sketch where you don't give any measurement any specific measurement but you are just uh, that is uh, you don't say it is one kilometer two kilometer you just uh, tell them like this you have to travel and you will reach the place okay so that is a sketch where you don't give any measurement okay now the people those who make map they are called as cartographers okay cartographers and the art of making map the drawing will be draw those people that is our cartography the art of making map okay and where do you find the maps you find it in an atlas all type of map will be in the book called atlas so when you open the book you will find all type of map you will find political map you will find a physical map all those type of maps you will find you will find world map find indian maps even state wise also you will find tamil nadu uh, gujarat andhra pradesh maharashtra uh, west bengal every state wise also you will find the map so you will be easy for you to locate the place okay so the book which contain all the maps we call it as an atlas it can be world map indian map european map uh, asian map like that so continent wise also they give you the uh, map and uh, this helps you to locate the place clearly okay so i think with this we are uh, ending the session so the next session we will be learning the rest till then stay safe and uh, also along with playing do a little bit of study is also so have a nice time thank you bye